Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of my small business series. In today's video, I'm going to take you along with me as I start my small pet business and show you what a realistic first launch can look like for a small business owner. So first I had to unbox my bubble mailers and I got these off of Amazon. It was really important for me to have eco-friendly packaging so I found these compostable bubble mailers. And not only are they eco-friendly, but they're also super adorable and they go really well with the color scheme for my business. And after the bubble mailers were put away, I could go ahead and sort the rest of my packaging. I also got all of these off of Amazon. And here's what it looked like when I was all done. It's not perfect by any means, and I probably will resort it in the future, but for now it works really well. So in the week leading up to launch, I really just focused on preparing my inventory. So here I am making one of my products. If you're new here, the business that I'm starting is for small animals, so all of the products are marketed for hamsters, rabbits, guinea pigs, and other small pets. Another big thing that I focused on before launching my business was marketing. So I started an Instagram account for my business about a month before launch, and I also promoted it here on my YouTube channel. And I think doing this was really helpful in building an audience for my business and driving people to my shop. So finally it was launch day and I was very excited to start listing my items only to discover that our Wi-Fi was down. So instead, I filled the time by measuring and weighing my items, which is something I had to do before I could list them anyway. And by the time I was done with this, our Wi-Fi was still not working, so I ended up listing all of my items through the Etsy seller app on my phone. So I apologize that I could not film that for you, but here is what my shop ended up looking like. Immediately after I listed my items, I announced that my shop was live, and on launch day, the grand total of orders I got was two. I think a lot of what we see on social media has convinced us that launch days are supposed to be big and exciting and you're going to get hundreds of orders, but this is usually not the case. And personally, I was really happy with getting two orders right on launch day. This was actually my goal for the day, and I achieved it, so it was a big accomplishment for me. When running a small business, I think it's important to celebrate small wins instead of putting all your focus into blowing up. Personally, I'd rather put my energy into creating a dedicated community rather than stressing about going viral. So if you're a fellow small business owner, make sure to celebrate your small wins and every accomplishment that you achieve. Just find the people out there who will support you and continue to do what makes you happy. And to anyone who wants to start their own business, go do it. I gave myself $200 and a month to start my small business and I have enjoyed every minute since. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it was informative or entertaining. And let me know if you would like to see similar videos in the future. But either way, see you in my next one. Bye!